Today is the start of our new Port to Rich Season 2 in Driving Empire. I know you guys are as excited as I am, but before we get into it, I am currently giving away four Roblox gift cards of $50 each for the holidays. If you guys want to win one, leave a like, comment down below, and leave your Roblox username. Let's get in to Episode 1 of Port to Rich. Guys, welcome to the very beginning of Season 2 of Port to Rich in Driving Empire. This is has been a long time coming. The last episode we did of Poor to Rich, we purchased a supercar and that was a year and a half ago. We haven't touched a Poor to Rich episode or game in literally a year and a half. We are starting fresh. I was gonna go and just jump back into a new episode, but that didn't seem right. We gotta start new. We gotta do a new season. This is gonna be amazing. I hope you're excited, guys. The game has changed so much in a year and a half, so this is gonna be amazing. Sit back, relax. We've got a fresh account to get into, and let's see what our first car is gonna be. Oh, wow, okay, we get a free car. This is different than before, so I think I will have to start with the BMW, but this is not going to be our real first car, okay? I, I can't see myself using the very beginner starter car. In Season 1, Episode 1, we bought a Mustang GT. We actually used that as our starter car, and I thought that was a good start, but this time around, we gotta be a little different. So I'm gonna go ahead and verify my account and I just got myself $25,000 sweet So I guess just by following driving empire we get ourselves a bunch of free money now that we have ourselves 40,000 let's see if we can buy something better than our BMW because no offense I want something better. So let's see what can we get we can get an Acura NSX already That's a pretty good start if you ask me and that's something pretty cool as well what else do we have? We're almost actually at the new Supra. This would be a cool starter car. We can get a freaking Nissan Skyline GTR if we wanted to. This wouldn't be a bad choice either. It's a little bit on the slower side, but it has amazing characteristics. We could get ourselves a Dodge Charger, but I don't know, man. This is a little basic. For some reason, I feel like wanting a JDM car to start with. Can I sell my starter car? This is actually a big question. I can get almost $20,000 for selling my BMW. Now I have 60 grand. This is a good start. Let's see what we can buy with 60k. Okay, $60,000. We have a lot. We can get a Hellcat. How can you say no to a freaking Hellcat? This would be an amazing drag car. Amazing on the highway. Possibly not good for anything else, but for those two, it would be a good start. We could also get the new Supra, which I honestly am kind of leaning towards, only because I think it's a cool car, although it is straight up slower than the Challenger Hellcat. We could also get a 911 Porsche. This is insane, 308 km per hour top speed. This might be the car for us, guys. This is actually way better than I thought for 45,000 too. That's so cheap. I have spent a good amount of time now comparing all of our options and statistically speaking, the best stock option we can get with under 60,000 is going to be the Mercedes SL 63 AMG. This is also a very cool car and it's something different, not just like a Hellcat or something. I think this will be our car guys. What, what do you guys think? Would you have done the same thing? Let let me know in the comments. The stats look unreal. 3.4 seconds, 0 to 60, 320 km per hour. It's got a big V8. This should be a good starter car. Let's buy it. Let's go. Our first car is now acquired. And here we go. The first time spawning our Mercedes SL63. Here we go. I think we made the right purchase, guys. This seems like the right thing to buy. I officially have no money, though. So <laughs> we need to make some money immediately. This thing sounds and looks incredible. It's already insanely fast too. This was the right purchase I think guys. So for race number one we are going to do the cross country sprint. This is something I haven't actually practiced a lot but I wanted to do something new. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully we can win. I kind of like the car that we got guys. This thing looks amazing. All right. Oh God. <laughs> uh oh. That's not a good start, but let's see. Now, at the end of the day, we are just trying to make some money so that we can upgrade our SL63 AMG. That's kind of the main focus right now. I really want to see this thing maxed out completely, so hopefully we can do that. I think just by completing this race, we will make a decent amount of money. 
Uh oh, that was not good. The first thing I'm upgrading is going to be the suspension and tires. We could definitely use some better grip, so that's gonna be number one. We have plenty of speed. This thing feels extremely fast already, but handling, we can definitely improve, 100%. And this is a really cool race. It's a lot longer, but it is only one lap, and once you complete it, I do think you get a lot of money. So look at this, we're almost headed into the mountains now. This is actually pretty cool. This thing sounds insane. You can just hear it building boost the entire time. All right, here we go, we got the massive jump. Okay, we might have overdone that. Oh god, we could probably get some new brakes too. That would be a good upgrade. We're just over halfway done, guys, and I'm starting to learn that we could definitely use some practice with our new car. This one is very, very fast, but it's gonna need better brakes. It's gonna need better suspension. We're gonna need to upgrade this thing a lot. And if you guys have any suggestions for what you want to see me buy next or what you want to see me upgrade, let me know in the comments, guys. We are working together and we are gonna get the Bugatti Chiron, hopefully in under 10 episodes, that's my goal. Like obviously we could just grind with this car the entire time, but we gotta keep it interesting and buy a couple of cars. We can't go just from this right to the Bugatti. We gotta have a car for every type of race. I think we'll keep the AMG as our like top speed car, but we definitely need something that has better handling in the future. The guy we were racing in the Remac has already finished the race and I am going straight into a Burger King. Nice. <laughs> I do believe if you don't finish the race within 30 seconds, I think we might not even get a reward. So we really need to hurry because if I don't get a reward at all for completing this, this is going to be very bad. So we might be getting a did not finish or did not complete, which means we literally get no money. Please tell me we're not going to get that. We are so close. Please, Driving Empire, don't disqualify me. I'm trying my best. Oh, here we go. Completion is right here. We did it. And we did get some good money. Okay, 24,000 is some good money, but look at that time difference. Oh boy, that's not good. <laughs> we need to improve this car a lot. You know what though? 30,000 is a lot of money. We only paid 60 for our car. So this is gonna give us a lot to upgrade. Okay, first things first, we should probably upgrade our brakes to get the best brakes we can have. That will help a lot and definitely some better tires. These are the two most important modifications right now. Now, besides that, we are already twin turbocharged. We could upgrade our engine and we could get more boost. I think I will get more boost. That will probably help, and yeah, this should really make a difference for us, guys. All right, time to do our first ever drag race. Let's see what kind of times we can end up with. I think we'll do okay. Maybe not against this McLaren, but I think we should do fine. We don't have a slow car at all, so let's see how this goes, guys. We just upgraded a lot of stuff. Here we go. Come on, man. I, I hope we do pretty good with boost. Oh, no. Wow, okay, he's fast. He's very fast, but you know what? We're not too slow either. Look at this, 270. 10.1 is not bad at all. For a car we just bought 10 minutes ago, this is not too bad. That being said, we got literally like no money, so that was kind of a waste of time. All right, time to do the highway race. We've got the same guy in his McLaren again, a very, very nice spec as well. Let's see how we do, and let's see how much money we get. Oh, is he, is he giving me the win, or what's happening here? Okay, no, 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 no. Hold on, dude, hold on. He's definitely not trying right now, which means I might get the win, which is good, because I could definitely use the money. And for the record, my username is not very uh, easy to identify, so I think most people won't know who I am, which is good as well, because I won't get free wins that way. Oh, he's totally messing with me, and he's gonna rip right past me at the very end. Just watch. He's right behind me. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, don't... Oh wait, let's see, is he gonna give me the win? Oh, he did! Wow, thanks man, appreciate it. He didn't even say he let me win, he just straight up said GG. What a giga chat. That's a free $10,000 as well, so if we did more of these highway races, we can make a lot of money. Guys, we have done the cross country race, the drag race, and the highway race. I think we made the right purchase. We could definitely upgrade the engine and make this much faster, but so far, so good. We did the drag race in 10.1 seconds, so I think we've got a pretty good car. If you're excited for more Porta Rich, leave this video a big thumbs up, let me know, and uh, yeah, we have plenty more where this came from. Thanks for watching, guys. 
and I can't wait to see you on episode number two.